This is the angle grinder and it's made to cut metal. If you have to cut screws off or grind down some kind of sharp piece of metal, you can put different discs in it. This one happens to be a thin disc made for cutting and then you can put in thicker ones made for grinding. To change the disc, you have to lock the motor up with the pin by pushing this button down, turning it so it goes in and then it has a special wrench with two little nubs that come out right here in order to take the washer off. You just place it in there and turn it. Once you loosen that washer, you take the disc off and you put a different one on. I'm gonna leave this one on so I can cut these screws. Now it does have two sides. If you have a disc that has a larger hole in the center, you put this side down. If you have one of the smaller hole, you put the other the other side down. Do not ever use your angle grinder without this guard. These are carbon fiber discs, and if they break or shred, they're sharp like little splinters spinning um, at several thousand RPMs, and they will embed into your stomach or hand. This is a thicker disc if you're going to be grinding. And this one is called a flappy disc, and it's just layers of sandpaper, and it can be used on wood or metal. Uh, the handle can be moved. Right now it's on top, but it can be taken off and put onto either the left side or the right side. So with the cutting disc, you're going to want to use just the edge, not the flat spot. But with the grinding disc, you don't want to use the edge, you want to use the flat spot. Always wear eyeglasses and a face shield because the sparks can bounce off and come up and you want to keep them off you. Try to direct the sparks away from you. thing on here is it has a trigger lock so if you put it into your bag the battery doesn't set off.